Locks and keys are an essential part of our daily life. They provide our property with security. Locks which protect our most precious stuff like a bank account don't need keys. This is called a number lock. There are two types of number locks. One of these is in our phone. We have these 10 digits and we have to enter a 4 digit code and the phone opens. The other type is exactly the same but mechanical. You rotate the 4 dials to their correct numbers and the lock opens. Each of the 4 dials have 10 numbers on each, 0 to 9, and 4 dials. So there are 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 or 10 to the power of 4 which is 10,000. So there are 10,000 possible passwords that can be entered out of which only one is correct. 1 in 10,000. So clearly trying all the options is impossible because that will take way too much time. Unless you're the Flash. I have made my number lock out of Lego. But instead of it being a one with a rotating dial, mine has flat dials which slide forwards and backwards. With each dot representing on the bar a number. But in this number lock, instead of there being 10 numbers on each dial, there are 9. So there are 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 or 9 to the power of 4 which equals to 6561 combinations possible which is still a lot out of which only one will open the lock. This bar at the bottom is what will come out when the lock is unlocked. And right now as you can see it won't be able to come out since these rods are blocking it. Now let's unlock it. The password for this lock is 7458. So when a dial is touching the bar, the dial is at 1. If I move it 1 dot down, it's at 2. So this is 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. And now for the second dial. It's already on 1. So 2, 3 and 4. Now for the third. It's already on 1. So now 2, 3, 4 and 5. And for the last, as you know, it's at 1. Okay, so 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now let's see if the bar can come out. It can, see? You have probably understood how it works. These four pipes are able to move around in the middle of the bar and each of them has a hole. So even if one pipe is in the middle of it, it will not be able to come out. But at one point for each of these bars, their holes align exactly under the bar. And so I counted how far away they were from the starting position. And that is how the password was formed. And the password is of course 7458. And now you can see it comes out because all the holes have lined up exactly under the bar.